my earliest memories are all surrounding aviation. Quite literally, my first memory is burning my hand on the nose of an F-18 Hornet uh, after an air show, uh, a show that my dad had just been a part of. He was a Blue Angel for two years and I was super, super young. So just like Navy bases, the smell of jet fuel, like that whole world are like all tied to my earliest memories. So stepping into devotion has been kind of funny because it's kind of taken me back <laughs> to those places uh, all over again. When I heard about JD, I, I got a call and they said, we found our director. And so you're kind of on pins and needles. Who is it, who is it, who is it? They told me about who JD is. He's this young man, he's got great vision. And then they said his father was a Blue Angel, Angels pilot. And I, I felt like, I don't know, this, just, this weight lifted. Because to do this movie, you have to have lived this story. You can't take a crash course in naval aviation in six months or even by reading my book and know how to make a movie this big. JD grew up on these bases with his father. He grew up talking to his dad late nights at the kitchen table. He knows the lingo, he knows the world, he knows the culture, he knows the ethos. And so there's no better director on the planet than that young man. <laughs> when I first read the script, um, I kind of cried my way through reading it, which is, um, I have to say, incredibly rare. <laughs> so it, it wasn't just because Jesse and Tom's story was so remarkable, which it, it is on its own. Um, but then also I saw so much commonality between Jesse and my dad, who himself was a naval aviator 30 years after Jesse. So sort of at the heart of making this movie, you know, it's been not just an opportunity to sort of celebrate who, who Jesse and Tom were, but also kind of get to tell my dad's story. And, you know, look, as a, as a filmmaker, you always look for that personal connection. Um, and I'm just really lucky that the one on devotion is just so intense.